Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Woo, can't even talk yet. We done let the dogs out. Hunter and I are about to go out doing one of my favorite things to do, and that is to chase kingfish. Um, guys, and there's Skeeter Dog right here coming up. Guys, these fish can swim in diverse at like 40 miles an hour. They're absolutely ridiculous. So much fun to catch. Right now, we're catching them on the artificials, guys. A lot of people in Savannah, everybody likes their cedar plugs and their drone spoons with planers. I think I'm saying that right. It's a lot going on, and guys, it just doesn't work as well for me for some reason. I'm probably not holding my mouth right. So what I did was is I went out and bought me a bunch of these Rapalas. They're the X-Wrap saltwater edition they're the magnum dive bait this one's rated for 20 feet that's the mahi color there's the box so y'all know what you're buying guys what i'm using today is uh number five 43 pound test wire that's what we're going to be tying it up with guys and then we're going to secure it to our leader using spro i love the spro swivels guys they're absolutely amazing the size 8 50 pound test um, guys, the reason we use all this small stuff for kingfish is they're line of sight feeders. So therefore, guys, they will see something at the last minute and turn away, and these boogers are already hard enough to keep a hook into. So we want every advantage that we can get. So guys, I get about, about yay much right there. Uh, if you're tall, don't go yay much. Go about half yay much. I'm a short guy, and I got abnormally short arms. So there's that. I'm kind of like a little dwarf looking dude or something. So guys, check it out. All I'm gonna do, whoops. I'm not used to doing this stretched out. Put the wire through there. Fold it over on itself, okay guys? I'm gonna come around the other side of the table here. So which way side's the lens on? Focus, focus. And then you're gonna bite down. And guys, sometimes on these artificials, if I'm in Wahoo country, I will go up on my wire, wire size. So guys, just keep wrapping it, keep wrapping it. I'm gonna, I like to do about eight wraps. And then I come up, go back over top, and then I create an X. You can see my X right there. Then I come back below to where I just looped and finish it with three to five more. Then we'll cut our tagline. Don't want those to get on the floor. My little baby's got soft paws. It might get a little piece of wire in there. And guys, that is it finished. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you should have a little, you should have it coming down looped and then a figure eight or an X over top and then three to five more loops on the bottom. Once you got that done guys, you are ready to put on your King Slayer. That's what they ought to call this thing, man. This is my favorite color. I use this and I have a couple of purple and blacks. This Mahi color, guys, is absolutely amazing. They make a pogey color. Um, they're absolutely amazing as well, but there's just something about this Mahi color. Uh, this thing rattles, makes all kinds of racket. Uh, guys, I will, I will drag these starting off at about six knots. Um, if I was wanting some CUDA, cause I know there are CUDA out there, I would slow down, but I really, really, really want a giant Kingfish. Um, we haven't even had any in the 30 pound range yet, let alone the 40. Our biggest one about 22, 25 this week. We're going to call it 22 to be conservative. Um, all right, guys, right there, got that knot done. Clip it. Right there, guys. So that thing's gonna go dragging like this, and then it's gonna go. And hopefully, 
eventually that kingfish is going to come along and eat this scrumptious little morsel. So guys, we're going to be running about four of these at a time. I'm also going to rig up a cedar plug, throw out back, see if we can't get a top water blow up. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, learned a little something. Hopefully this actually works and we'll be able to show you a fish on it. This thing's nice and pretty. We'll so go see if we can scratch it up. We'll see y'all out on the water.